Peppermint OS meets Debian. I think it's going to be a good marriage. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the latest from the Peppermint team. They call this the Peppermint PC Netscape Edition based off of Debian, Debian Stable, I'm assuming. The default desktop here, I think there's only a 64-bit version, no 32-bit. So I will not be able to install these in my test ThinkPads, but that's okay. So as we're browsing through this here, this features the XFCE environment, the, a very wise choice for desktop envir environment. My second favorite desktop environment next to the Mate des desktop. And the reason being that I like lightweight, simple to use. This and the Mate desktop, super easy for newbies as in Windows users. So a very good choice. So they've switched from Ubuntu to Debian, which is perfectly fine. Uh, there are 32-bit versions of Debian if you go to their website. But so far, I do like what I see here as, as we are browsing through the panel. Here we have the workspace switcher. The panel here at the bottom, of course, can be moved and customized. After all, this is Linux, and you can pretty much do what you want once you become a little bit more experienced. We have some shortcuts here to the left. The Synaptic Package Manager, maybe the best package manager for Linux. I've been using this since 2006. Not that difficult to learn if you are new to all this, but yeah, a very solid package manager. I do like the transparency effects. All right, so this is called the Peppermint Hub. It looks like we have some shortcuts here. User tweaks, network and hardware, and system and software, it looks like. So pretty much self-explanatory here, setting up printers and installing packages and system information. As we see here, this is the kernel 5.10.0. And again, 64-bit version only of the latest Peppermint. So very good. Let's move on here and see what we have. All right, we have the file manager. Uh, this is Thunar. No, this is going to be uh, Nemo. Okay, well, that's cool. Nemo is lightweight and easy and easy to use. I do like the default theme of the dark theme with the red icons. Of course, you can change that if you want to. This, this of course, is called Peppermint. Of course, there would be some red in there, right? But very good. I like it. All right, let's move back to the menu button and see what we have here. I believe this is called the Brisk menu, I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't really matter. This is a very nice menu setup. All right, the task manager, CPU usage 12%, RAM is 1.7 gigs, a little bit high running this off a live USB stick, but I'm sure after a full install, it will be less than that. And by the way, running this off a live USB is fantastic. Very, very smooth. Under internet, we have ICE applications. So this here, no suitable browser detected. ICE requires a system install of either Chrome or Chromium in order to function. Okay. That's perfectly understandable, but why isn't a web browser already installed? Uh, not that it's hard, but for a beginner, yeah, something like this, I think we should already have a web browser already installed, ready to go. But just a personal nitpick there. Uh, other than that, this works perfectly fine. I did have to ins install Simple Screen Recorder to record all this. Volume control, pulse audio, again, pretty basic stuff here, very easy. Let's move on and see what else we have. Multimedia, we looked at settings a lot here. Uh, let's go to, let's see what we have. Let's go to the, um, let's go to appearance, yeah. All right, so we have the peppermint red dark theme. We can go, well, arc green, dark blue. I think you get the picture here. Again, very easy to customize your desktop. Uh, teal. I'll stick with red, dark. I think that looks pretty good for default desktop. All right, under system. And let's see, we, we were at settings, right? Yeah. Let's go under uh, window manager tweaks. All right, so window manager tweaks, placement and all that. All right, pretty basic stuff here. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, let's go to system now. All right, so the deconf editor, I noticed that is installed by default, GW Package Manager, but the deconf editor, I'm glad they say this. Thanks for using deconf editor for editing your settings. Don't forget that some options may break applications, so be careful. I'm glad that's there. It does say, please be careful. Most newbies probably won't mess with this. 
I haven't messed with this in a long, long time, but it's there if you want to use it. Again, if you install this on a test machine, I guess it won't really matter that much. And here to the right, we have the different workspaces toggling back and forth. And let's go ahead and highlight disks, and it's showing all my disks on this particular Dell machine that I have. Again, I love the transparency effects, so... Guys, this looks solid. Uh, this has been a couple years in the making uh, uh, since the, the tragic um, sudden passing of the founder of Peppermint. I think his name was, was his name was Mark Greaves. So overall, this looks like a very well polished uh, system based off of Debian Stable. I do believe, of course, Debian has been around <laughs> what almost thirty years. Yeah, you'd be lucky if marriages last that long. But a boom. But no, so yeah, this I think is going to be a very good marriage between Peppermint and um, Debian. Here we have select your software packages, and here we can install a web browser, among other software. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to, um, let's see, we have Firefox. Let's go to Chromium. Click install selected, and it's going to go through the process here, and then we can yeah, go straight to the Chromium browser and bring that up and you'll be good to go. But I think this should have been installed. One browser should be installed by default. Is it just me? I don't know. Just a thought. Anyway, check it out. I think it looks great. If we had a 32-bit of this, I would not I would install this on one of my ThinkPads. But overall, I think this is a very fine marriage between Peppermint OS and Debian. Link for this below in the show notes. Thank you, Peppermint team. And I'll catch you on the next one.